We're joined by head coach James Franklin to preview the Michigan game. Coach, bye week last week. How did the team come out of the bye week, and did you enjoy yourself getting some time off to look at some big picture things? Oh, yeah, so much time off. Uh, <laughs> as a head coach, it's amazing. Everybody finds out it's your bye week, so uh, bye week ended up being busier than a normal week, but, uh, but I thought it was good. We got good work with our players in terms of mental reps and took some pounding off of them and, and letting them get some rest. Uh, they were able to get out of town this weekend and see their families. Coaches were on the road recruiting. Um, it's kind of late in the season, um, but, uh, but you know we're fortunate to have it this week. Uh, Michigan plays a game and goes to overtime, a night game, and, and uh, you know, we were able to watch that game and, and then able to get back to work. So um, you know, it came at a good time for us, and we're looking forward to the opportunity this week. How does the bye week help you get a jump start in looking ahead to an opponent? For, from a fan's perspective, they're curious to know what, what goes into getting a jump start. Well, you, you get a jump start. You can't really finalize anything because typically you do a four-game breakdown. Um, and you're waiting for that last game on, on Saturday to, to do it, but you're able to do a three-game breakdown. You're able to watch a bunch of film. You're able to get familiar with who they are, things like that, but you're waiting to that last game to get all your, your statistics and your tendencies to go from there. Um, but you're able to get a head start. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and then just the extra time. You know, A normal game week is a complete scramble from beginning to end. This allows more time. We, we've been in a situation where we played two opponents this year that had bye weeks before us, mm -hmm. um, which I think gives you an advantage. There's no doubt about it. And then, you know, for us, this is our first one. Saturday, obviously senior day, big, a big group, a special group in terms of not necessarily talked about before the numbers. But when you think about this week and the opportunity to, to send those guys potentially out on a high, how important is that for the young guys and for, for the staff? Well, I would ask the fans, I, I'd ask all of our alumni, I'd ask this community to really rally behind these guys uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, we're 6-0 and at home. We're playing really well at home. Our fans give us a huge advantage. But the other thing is this, you, you think about these seniors. Uh, they've been through more in four and five years than most programs go, in th go through in 20 years. Um, so, um, you know, I think it would be a tremendous sign of respect from our, from our university, from our community, from our fans to let these guys know how much we appreciate what they've done for this university and this football program. Um, and what a better way to do that with a sold out stadium, a tremendous home field advantage and find a way to fight out a win. What makes a Penn State whiteout special? Well, I, I know everybody imagines in your mind a whiteout being at night. Uh, but we, we can't control that. We control what we can control. And when they come out and say it's a 12 o'clock game, we need to embrace that. Um, you know, to me, it's great to look up in the stadium and see 107,000 people unified uh, all in, in one, uh, working together, all wearing white, white, white on the outside, blue in their heart, um, you know, thinking about how proud they are to be a part of this community and a part of this program and university as a whole. Um, and that's power. Our, our, our players, they feed off of that. It creates an unbelievable uh, environment for us. It, it creates an unbelievable advantage for us. Um, so, you know, we want to embrace that and, and, and keep moving forward. Let's start with the Michigan defense. What makes that group special among the nation's best in a number of categories? Why have they played so well? Well, one of the things that really jumps out to you, you know, I look at right away is, um, you know, I think they have, uh, I want to say it's like 23 seniors. Um, if you take their offense, their defense, and special teams, seniors, um, um, uh, you're talking about graduate transfers. They're just an old veteran team. They, they were, if you look at them last year, they were talented last year defensively. They've built on that. So, uh, you know, they're doing a nice job. This defensive coordinator, we have history with him from when he was at the University of Florida. Uh, he's done a nice job as well. But more than anything, they're big and they're physical. Um, and they play an aggressive style of defense. On offense, Jake Rudock seems to be coming on strong for them at the quarterback position. Why, what, what type of offense do they, do they like to run, and, and how, how would you characterize their passing game right now? They're a pro-style uh, West Coast offense. Um, they want to hammer you in the running game. I would say similar to, if you, if you follow college football, a Stanford, similar to a, to a Michigan State, similar to us in some ways. Um, they want to run the ball with power. They want to do a play action pass. They want to throw ball control stuff underneath as well. Um, and they do a good job with that. Again, big veteran um, offensive line, um, you know, talented at the running back spot with depth. And they got a veteran quarterback who's playing at a high level right now. And their wideouts are starting to come on. So uh, they're playing with a lot of confidence. Their defense sets them up with a lot of short fields and things like that. Um, but again, a veteran team. I think I said 23 earlier. I'm kind of going through my mind right now. I think it's actually 18. Okay. Um, but, it, but it's a dramatic number of uh, seniors. 
when you look at keys to the game, what's important in your mind coming off a of bye week? Is a fast start one of the things that you, you keep in mind, or is that just something every week? But overall, what are your keys to the game? Yeah, I think that's every week. Um, you know, obviously we want to we want to put ourselves in a position to be competitive in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, obviously starting strong would be really, really important for us to get some confidence. You know, Bob always talks about first series three and out, uh, first quarter shutouts. And then offensively, obviously, we'd love to do the opposite of that. You know, be able to start with an opening drive and go down the field and get some points, play really good in the first quarter, and then be able to sustain that. Uh, the games that we've started out fast, we've, we've had confidence and build on that. Um, but we got to be able to do it for four quarters. Turnover margin is an area we have an advantage. Penalty is an area where we have an advantage. We need to play disciplined, smart football. Um, offensively, we need to continue to be explosive. And then defensively, we need to get back to stop stopping people from being explosive. That's something we've done really good. Um, didn't show up in our last game. Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck this Thank weekend. Thank you.